guys, Grace. Today, I'm going to read the Bible story. The Bi Today, the Bible title is 22 chapter called Good Friends, David and Jonathan. Chapter 1, Samuel 18, 18 chapter. King Saul saw, saw David defeat the Palestine's enemy. King Saul knew David loved God. King Saul knew David was brave. Jonathan was king's son. Jonathan loved God too. Prince Jonathan liked David with all his heart. Jonathan loved God David as he loved himself. Jonathan promised David that he didn't be, uh, he will be his best friend. Jonathan had many nice things. Jonathan gave David his best sword. Jonathan gave also gave David the bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Jonathan gave David his nice jacket. This will let people know that you are my friend, said Jonathan. Like Jonathan and David was the best friend. That also Jonathan think that David has himself. Like you can think. They were best best friend forever. Thank you for giving me your prince precious things. Thank you for being my best friend, David said David. David became a honorable governor of Israel. He won many battles. Israel sang for David. King Saul killed thousands, but Daniel killed ten of thousands. This made King Saul made mad and jealous. King Saul tried to harm David. Jonathan helped David run away from King Saul. Jonathan loved David, like he loved him. So, and King Saul was going to kill, right? So, like, he have protect David. He have also said to <coughs> his father, don't kill him, like that. And he also like try to hide him in one place and like tell him like you cannot come out now like the king is he was telling the king is nearby you hide quickly like that and also, King Saul, and if the people want David to be at the king, that can also be like not good to think to king Saul king. Uh, and I uh, like. In the in the battle, you can think a battle. In the and they have gone to battle, a uh, fight, and saw saw king and the prince. 
what was the name of him? A Jonathan has died in the battle war. So they have died. Twenty-three chapter the king uh, the wise king Solomon Chapter one verse Three. Hooray! King Solomon shouted the people. Solomon, Solomon became a new king of Israel. Solomon loved God and obeyed God. David's teaching. Solomon worshipped God with a thousand animals at Gibeon. God knew Solomon loved him. God told him in his dream. Ask for anything what you want, Solomon. Solomon asked God. I want to know the difference between right and wrong. Please give me wisdom. God pleased him with his answer. Solomon didn't ask for heal. He didn't ask for long life. He didn't ask for wisdom. Uh, he asked for wisdom. I will give you a you wisdom. I will make you rich. I will make a, you live long if you follow me. God blessed it, Solomon. One day, two mothers came to Solomon. This baby is my baby, and said. One mother, no, this baby is my baby, said another mother. Yeah, so he have asked, Solomon asked for hell. No, Solomon didn't ask for hell. Hell. Oh, sorry. Hell, rich, being rich, living long life. He didn't ask those things, and even he have asked for wisdom. He have asked for wisdom. Then. Hmm, then there were two mother coming to Solomon, like for the baby. We live in the same house. We both have babies. One of the babies died during the night, and she switched the babies. Two mothers agreed. Agree. King Solomon said, Bring me a sword. The king's men were confused, but they brought a sword. The king ordered, cut the living baby in and give half to one and half to another. Uh, so Solomon has... Well... Is wise because from God's power, right? So now he is saying, "Give me a sword." Do you think why he is giving, saying, like, "Give me a sword"? And like, make half of the baby. I cannot understand. I think that's not good. No, the baby's real mother was heartbroken. Don't kill the baby, just give the living baby to her, said mother crying. Good, said the other mother. So Solom King Solomon got to know who is the real mother.
Do you think who is the real mother? Oh, sorry, there's already ripped it. Don't kill the baby, give the baby to the crying mother. Our king is really wise. The people were amazed. The, the people of Israel respect Solomon king. King Solomon ruled Israel with God's wisdom. The Israel lived happily in, and peacefully, peaceful in Solomon's days. Actually, Solomon also did bad things, but he was really wise king, and God helped him many times. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And next time I will read twenty four chapter, the beautiful house of God. Yeah, then bye.